Hi guys, so again we're going to uh, use the medium of YouTube to uh, continue on with our teaching. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at uh, our sources on the Black Death and um, we'll read through them and then we'll go through with the forums quiz that was posted as well. So source one uh, begins up here as you can see. Uh, source one says, and all generally agree that the plague derives from corrupt and poisonous air. From this I conclude that the most secure remedy against the disease is to flee as early as possible to a place with healthy air and leave behind the corrupt and infected air. So this is adapted from a medieval uh, manuscript. Then we move over onto source two, which comes from a modern history book. It's an adapted from a modern history book. And it's talking about what happened at the time. So it says, for many the disease was caused by the vapors or fumes coming from lakes and bogs. The wrath or anger of God at the sins of mankind often provided the main force, followed by the influence of the coming together of the planets, especially Mars and Saturn. Some said the corrupt air was released from below the surface by earthquakes along with snakes and frogs. So here we've got two competing ideas of where people believed that the... Um, uh, Black Death came from uh, and we can see there's nothing there that's really based in science uh, so these are the things that they would have believed at the time people are really searching for any kind of um, a reason as to what is going on um, so then we move on to source 3 and unfortunately what happens sometimes in these things is that um, people get um, blamed who shouldn't get blamed uh, and anti-Semitism or, you know, persecution against Jews is something that uh, has dogged uh, history. And as we go through our history course, we will be tracking uh, the course of it. As with all prejudice, we've looked at misogyny already in, in um, our study of Rome and in the Middle Ages and stuff like that. As we go through um, uh, the, the history course, we'll find that there is a beginning to these hatreds. They are irrational things born out of fear uh, from people who blame somebody else. And, and these things are carried on. Um, they're, they're human made. And, and this anti-Semitism, which still exists in this world, unfortunately, until this day, um, you know, it has its origins even before this. But we can see how it can continue on in this time. So source three then is blaming the Jews. Uh, this comes from the cremation of Strasbourg jury on St. Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 1349, about the Great Plague and the burning of the Jews. And the source is from a website called sourcebooks.fordham.edu. Um, so we'll read it. In the matter of this plague, the Jews throughout the world were reviled or hated and accused in all lands of having caused it through the poison which they are said to have put into the water and the wells. That is what they were accused of. And for this reason, the Jews were burnt all the way from the Mediterranean into Germany, but not in Avignon, for the Pope protected them there. Nevertheless, they tortured a number of Jews in Bern and Zofingen in Switzerland who then admitted that they had put poison into many wells, and they also found the poison in the wells. Thereupon they burnt the Jews in many towns and wrote of this affair to Strasbourg, Freiburg and Basel, in order that they too should burn their Jews. On Saturday, that was St. Valentine's Day, they burnt the Jews on a wooden platform in their cemetery. There were about 2,000 people of them. So again, what's important to take from this is that um, people were afraid and they blamed the Jews. Uh, they admitted to having uh, poisoned wells after they were tortured, uh, which is not reliable testimony. Um, and then it said that they also found the poison in the wells. Again, this could easily be planted afterwards. Uh, we move on then to source four, deaths and burials, another aspect of the Black Death. The data is sufficiently widespread and numerous to make it likely that the Black Death swept away around 60% of Europe's population. It is generally assumed that the size of Europe's population at the time was around 80 million. This implies that around 50 million people died in the Black Death. So this is by Ole J. Benedicto, The Black Death, The Greatest Catastrophe Ever, which comes from History Today, a magazine, uh, volume 55, issue three in March of 2005. And finally, we went to source five, which is an account from Florence at the time. All the citizens did little else except to carry dead bodies to be buried. At every church they dug deep pits down to the water table, and thus those who were poor 
who died during the night were bundled up quickly and thrown into the pit. In the morning, when large numbers of bodies were found in the pit, they took some earth and shoveled it down on top of them.